Hey guys, welcome back to Life on Greenwood. Today I'm going to show you how Valspar chalk paint holds up on this little goodie. I want to give you a full demonstration of how Valspar covers this item and show you just how good Valspar is. So if you're interested in seeing how Valspar covers on an item like this, by all means, stick around. So this is Valspar chalk paint. I'm going to be painting right out of the can. It's called the Valspar Chalky Finish Paint, medium base, and it's a white. So it says vintage chic for wood and metal furniture. Now I got this from Lowe's and I think I paid like $31.98. And if you go back to my other video, which I'll insert um, a clip or the, the link for you to check out the video where I compared this paint with five other chalk paints, price points, consistency, and where I purchased them. Uh, again, $31 from Lowe's. Um, I'm going to show you what it looks like on this item. I'm going to use a brush that <clears throat> I've already been using, but I want to show you how it shows up on this. I figured, well, if I'm already painting, why don't I just show you, uh, give you a demo on this and give you a closer look at how Valspar uh, Chalky Paint actually performs. I've compared uh, Waverly, Bear, uh, West Oli, which was my favorite, but now I'm, I think I've got some other little uh, ones that I'm, that I'm liking uh, a little bit more than my West -Oli. So let's see, I want you to see how this Valspar holds up. For $31.98, what really got me was for the same size, I could get um, a Rust-Oleum, the Bear from Home Depot, uh, Kills. All of those were from like $16 uh, to $19. Same size, same size. Um, I got to tell you, um, I don't know. I don't know. But as, again, as I said before, I bought this and I'm doing the demo so uh, to give you an idea of what it looks like so you don't have to run out and pay $31.98 for a can of Valspar. But $31.98, it better be good, right? So we're going to show you what it looks like. I've, I already had a little sneak peek, but I want to show you what it looks like or I want to see what it looks like on this and show you. I'm going to paint right out of the can. This can has already been shaken up and, and all of that. So you can see it's a little runny and this can was shaken several times. It's not just a little runny, it's a, a lot of runny. But let's just see. Again, we did the demo, you know, um, not to say that I was not impressed with it, because it's going on really nicely, you can see. But for $31, you kind of expect that, right? And I was looking to see if I had another sponge brush to use on this, but I didn't. So I'm going to use what I, what I already had since I was already painting. Um, painting another project with Valspar with this. So I figured, you know, I'll just use it and show you this one. Going on great. Everybody's doing well. Um, I couldn't go out to get to get a, any new brushes or any new supplies or anything, you know, since we're shut in. Again, I don't know where you guys are when you're watching this, but I'm in Connecticut and we are still we're still shut down. So 
doing the best we can. So this is going on well. But again, Valspar is very good paint anyway. Um, the regular Valspar paint is pretty good. What's your experience been with Valspar, regular paint? Um, just comment below. And what has your experience been with Valspar chalk paint if you've ever used it? Let me know. I'm getting great coverage and that's, that's a good thing. And that's what I want with my, with my chalk paints. You know, they always say, oh, it covers in, covers in one coat. Oh, you, everything, it covers in one coat. I have yet to see that, except in the case where um, the item that I was painting was already white or, you know, then, I, then I'll see it cover in one coat. So this is really going on well. You Valspar. So, if you used Valspar chalk paint before, please comment and let me know what your experience has been. Good, bad, what? Going on great. I like this. I got this piece from Goodwill last year, and I've been meaning to paint it, but never got around to it. Just like you, everybody's getting around to those uh, projects that we put off, right? Now that we are all shut in. I'm not mad at it. Great coverage, huh? Little runny, but one coat is pretty good. I know I'm gonna have paint on me yet. I've been doing pretty good. I had some paint on me earlier that I thought I washed off before the video started, but we'll see. I'm not mad at you, Valspar. Not at all. Okay, that's, that's one. I'm not mad at you, Valspar. I'm not mad at you. Looking pretty good. I hope everybody's doing well. I hope you're getting to do your projects that you put off. I saw Hubby was out today in the yard doing some yard work and stuff that's been put off for God knows how long. So... That's one good thing that's come out of being at home. All right, one coat down. And Valspar is looking good. I'm not mad at you, Valspar. I'm not mad at you for $31.98. Trying to see if there's any drips here. I'm not mad at you. All right, I'm going to come back. I'm going to give this a second coat and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, it's pretty dry, so we're going to go for coat number two. thinking I might get away with two coats. I don't know. But I see some some thin spots, so it may be three. But I tell you, I'm not mad at this. This is really coming along great. So I'm going to finish this second coat 
and then we'll see if I need a third. So this is two coats. All right, this is two coats. I think I'm gonna need a third. So thumbs up to Valspar for some great chalk paint, even though it's $31.98. I'm giving it a thumbs up. Thanks guys for stopping in and I hope this was helpful.